Good day and welcome back. So in, in this episode we're going to go ahead and do the engine compartment in the engine. Um, this one is fiddly. The, f the, the f fighting compartment, the stuff I've done so far, was a little fiddly but not really that bad. Um, this one really had some challenges. We had some very, very fine parts. Some of them just broke on the sprue, and I don't know if they broke. I, I can't tell if they broke when I cut them or if they broke already on the sprue in the way they were packaged and just were snapped. But it is what it is. We, they're, they're, it's things you can deal with. So we're going to go ahead and show you what I had to deal with and the challenges and how I got the engine to, to go in. Uh, and where we go. So I hope this is helpful, and let's take a look. So the engine, fiddly. So this part I'm doing right here is putting these valve covers on. Now, the interesting thing about this is what you can see. What I'm the part I'm doing right here is a piece that broke. Now, those the thing that I'm where I'm gluing it right here. Normally, or the way it's cast is that valve cover is or that pipe is actually on the valve cover to the left so the valve cover to the left has the pipe sticking out of it and then the valve cover to the right is just that little valve cover there that right there that upper right hand corner of that sprue is what it looks like when it's whole but what i found is for about half of these when you tried to cut it off they were already broken on the sprue and so you end up having two valve covers and then this pipe you got to stick between them which it's not hard it's just fiddly um and then you know these these uh push rods that sit underneath are not quite the perfect shape, so you kind of got to fiddle and this whole thing, like I said, it's just it's just fiddly now interestingly here the the speed that I have this video on is like two point five times, so you could see this is me going two point five times it just I was moving that slowly, it's just that fiddly. Um, but it works, right? It all it all kind of comes out, you know. Of course, if you're going to see the engine, and a lot of the detail parts on this, you're not like well, you're only going to see about half of this, because um, the other half is going to be in the bottom. But you know, again, it's worth doing the work. If you're going to do it, go ahead and do it right. Just understand, it'll be fiddly. So yeah, I just wanted to point out one other thing. This here, if you look at that, it implies that this has got sort of a little step that goes onto there, which would then go onto that piece there. But if you look at it, right, this had a connector to it, and it really doesn't. So what I need to do is I need to take a knife, and I'm going to need to shape this a bit so that it matches what that needs it to do so that I can get this on to go in. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out for the engine, <clears throat> you know, there was that little bit about all this fragile stuff, but then as you get to doing these, this orients this cowling, then this goes on. It doesn't really have, um, or it, it implies it's difficult to see how this sets up, but there are, you don't see it here, but there are pins here, here, and here that align to a hole here, there, and there. And you can almost see it in the drawing, but there's only three. So that gives you this orientation of this. Then there's that tab and a really tiny piece that's right in here that orients that. And this piece here has a key. So this actually does have... And those, those, that little pinhole and pinhole and pin are like less than a mil. They're really hard to miss. So just saying, watch for them. And I've done a little, you know, I've gone and done pre-painting and so forth on this to sort of get the, the bulk of that done. But now I'm going to go in, sort of finagle this a little bit, try to get that on there and then put these together and move on. So I just wanted to call that out while I was getting to it. All right. So, I'm going to be honest, um, the way I've been putting this together, I have completely forgotten where I've left off. So, um, the segue from the last moment to this one might be a little disjointed, so my apologies. Um, I have gotten as far as step 14, um, 
page 14, I'm sorry, I guess step whatever, 44. And I'm just going to kind of talk about where I've gotten so far. And the big challenge, really, was this guy. All right, so doing the engine. Doing this engine wasn't difficult so much as it was a little frustrating. Just pieces are kind, they kind of fit whatever. Um, I know there's a sequence ahead where I'm talking about these pieces, right? Um, doing all that. And those pieces are visible here on the top. So you really only need to worry about, you know, four of them, depending on how it goes on. Real challenge I had, and I found this out as I was doing it, was the orientation of this piece here. This, you know, basically the engine and then this. So the way this orients to these, and this isn't very clear. Um, this looks like you are at something of an angle relative to this bar. And I couldn't find a... A, uh, what's what I'm looking for here? Let me get this up here. So this bar here is a mounting bar underneath there. So that's actually where this, right? So there's this piece here, but then there's also these two guys here and here, and they go to those spots there. All right, so that's relevant. When you get to this, the orientation of this, which essentially gives you your orientation for your exhaust these pieces here these need to be parallel to these pieces so this actually needs to be vertically up and down perpendicular up and down so this should be at a right angle to this so you know essentially this piece right here should be at a right angle to this and that's what this doesn't really shh, try this again this piece needs to be at a right angle. See that, see how this orientation between these two, this, this line, should be at a right angle here. And this drawing doesn't really articulate that well at all. So I ended up having that canted off a little bit, and I ended up having to go back, take it apart, and redo it. Um, it's And I find that out when I go to drop it in. And it's doable right um and i have a sequence for that and i'll put that up here i think i do anyway all right so that's getting disoriented in so once i have this in right now we go through and get this dropped in these two parts go on these two mount points here the these two parts this one and this one go on those two mount points there it's a little bit difficult to get them oriented and on but they and i found that i'm break i broke off a ton of the little parts that were right here so it, it almost was easier to do these little detail pieces here and here and the ones um at the front of the engine like this part here let me go back So like uh, these guys here, these pieces here, these pieces here, it would have been, e it was easier to put those in after I mounted the engine. Okay. So it just turned out to be better that way. Then going back and then these are doing the detail parts. I still have to put these PE, these two little PE caps here and here, which I will do. Um, I want to clean up these seams here. Um, this is one of the situations where the seams, well, there we go, focus where I'm looking, want you to, there we go. So these seams will be seen if the lid's off, which I'm kind of thinking I want to try and do. So I got that done. Um, what I then moved on, we finished all the detailing parts in here, putting these parts on. Um, I did find that the exhaust pieces here and here, which are back over here, these two guys, right? They are just a touch long, and that was 
the way it worked for me, I must have had an orientation bed. So they actually prevented, because they touch right here, right? And these parts here um, are where the exhaust come out. So that touch, where that touches, um, I actually had to nip back about a half a millimeter. I had to, that was my fault, I believe, but just watch that. Um, I go through, do all the rest of that, put these parts on. Now, the other thing I've done is my intent is to have these doors open. Um, these are put together with uh, with a PVA just to hold it in place so that when I go to paint this all green, um, I can do that, then I can crack it open and I will have them hanging open. Um, so that's the plan with those. The other thing I want to point out here is this. So this is shorter than the hole. Now this right here, so like this is this gap right here, that PE part goes in here. Now you'll notice here, this PE part intentionally sits in recessed in here. So there's a gap. I wanted to go ahead and put this on before I put, you know, to put this onto this, but I couldn't. Essentially, you have to, you do have to put this part on, then put this down in. Um, I don't like the way that works, but it's the way it goes. So there we go. Um, I have these parts done, but because of where they go, I went ahead and painted them green already. So there's one, there it is, right? So those guys go here, but because that's also, I'm gonna have to paint this panel it's easier to leave those off so I can paint down in behind so I can then do the, the work on that, all right? So that gets us through the engine. Now, I am gonna go back and detail paint up through here, these wires, um, highlight the metallic in here and do some aging and weathering on the exhaust in here to give it a, a more um, rusty-ish look. You know, how, how exhausts get that orange rust because they, they're hot, so they get exposed to weather, etc. I'm going to go ahead and do that. My intent is to have at least one of the panels off so that you can actually see into the engine, not only with the door open, but also have that done. Um, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to do that, you know, here in a little bit. Going through, so basically I followed the instructions to close those up. And like I said, it's just PVA glue here. And I'll do it this way when I'm done. Um, putting these two parts on, a little bit of a pain, but not terrible. Um, then I'm moving on now to the next steps of the cabin. And you can see I haven't weathered this or weathered this yet and you know highlighted it yet. That's coming. Um, this needs to get cleaned up and painted a little. So or cleaned up and then detail painted to cover the finish there. But I have the base, the, that first level of floors now done. And I'm now following the instructions to do this part because this is what's coming next, and that's the gun. And that would be this guy right here. And this was one really fiddly little assembly, um, especially this, these parts here. Now there's some detail parts. All this, this should be metallic, which I'm going to go back and do. And then a whole bunch of chipping and so forth on the on this gun in here, chipping in through here. This is really flimsy the way all this goes together. Now it's it's been sitting for a bit. Um, so it it's now a little more stable. And I am at this step here, which is 45, which is now assembling this part of the gun, you know, that that basic piece here, and all of that which then, here we go, let's move this. So once I finish these steps here, right, just finish this whole gun assembly, I am then to the point where we start building up the second layer of the cabin, which is where this goes in, these walls go on, and then we build it up and around. And then, you know, it's gonna start looking like the tank. Now we are nowhere near close to done yet, because this is only, Step 57 out of, you know, 96. So we're only about halfway there. Um, but it's starting to take shape. And, you know, in the next couple, 
the next couple nights we'll be going there. So I am going to actually end. I mean, again, I don't know how much I've shown already, but I'm going to end this video, which I expect is probably hideously long. Um, and with this, and then we'll let the next episode pick up where I go from here. So again, thank you very much for watching. I hope this is useful, entertaining, and uh, moderately enjoyable. And until next time, thanks for watching. Happy modeling. <laughs>